Hello, everybody. I like to wait just a minute to make sure that this is working properly. I'm Kelly Atchison at estampabove.com, coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. Hi, Susan. Welcome. Whether you're watching this live on Facebook or afterwards on Facebook, I do post all my videos as soon as we're finished right to my business page. You can find that at a stamp above dash your creative coach. And uh, you might be watching this on YouTube. Please share my video, whether you're watching on YouTube or Facebook. That always helps me and sharing is caring. Hi, Nicole. Hi, Rhonda. Janet. Welcome. Thank you. Please make sure you let me know where you're coming from. Everybody who comments on my video tonight will be entered in a drawing for a door prize. So, um, hope you guys had a wonderful weekend. Let me get my, <clears throat> excuse me, my laptop set up so I can see your comments. It's very cold here in Wisconsin. It was, it was snowing today crazy like we don't get snow too often in October that's just kind of obscene so I think we're gonna get hit pretty hard this winter that's just a feeling I don't know anything else Kathy from Sun Prairie she says it's cold there too thanks so much Holly you're so sweet hi Julie Sarah and Marie so glad you could join we've got Sandy from Chicago Joyce thank you for the share I really appreciate it Kelly from Oshkosh hi Kelly Mary from Baltimore. Julie, thanks for the share. I appreciate it. Okay, let me get this popped up on my screen so I can see your comments. Now, it is possible that I might miss a comment or something if you ask a question. So here's what I ask you to do. Keep asking your question until you get it answered because I only have like this much room on my screen on my laptop where those questions and comments are rolling in. So they roll by quickly and then I miss them. And I don't know if you've ever done this before, but it's really hard to stamp and monitor questions and keep my train of thought. I, I think it gets harder the older I get too. So <laughs> crazy, right? All right, so um, I told you guys that I would be broadcasting possibly from my mom's house tonight and um, unfortunately I didn't get as much work done as I had planned. Hi Pam. Pam's my sister-in-law from San Diego. Welcome. So I wasn't able to stay at my mom's house but I did go up there Saturday after my um, card buffet and went to my class reunion and that was just super super fun. My classmates are so nice. You know, it's almost like we haven't we we haven't seen each other in five years for the most part, and it's almost like it was just last week that we saw each other. So it's just always so fun. I graduated with a real small class of I don't know between eighty and ninety people, I guess, and we had about thirty five at the reunion, which is pretty typical. So it was just really fun. Had a good time. Um, my mom made us a wonderful breakfast of um, buttermilk pancakes and bacon this morning. My brother and his wife Barb were there, so that was really fun. We really, really had a good time, and then it was too short because I had to get home so I could get prepared for tonight because, well, I didn't get everything ready that I needed to get ready before I went up there. But I am planning on going to visit my mom on Tuesday, and I'm going to be staying for a few days with her, so I'm going to be like... I told her, I said, I'm going to be bringing a moving truck, so I'm going to bring a bunch of stamping stuff with me. My mom's having some minor outpatient surgery on Wednesday, and um, I just thought it would be better if I was there. She was sounding maybe a little bit anxious, and I'm like, Mom, I'll come and take you. No big deal. Um, you know what, Pam? I would love to come to San Diego and host a party at your house. <laughs> <laughs> that would be awesome. <laughs> Hi, Suzette from warm Florida. I'm so jealous. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty chilly here. Um, let's see. I'm going to, um, let's see. I have some announcements. What's happening this week? I'm excited because the, um, what did I do with that? Memories and more card pack. The Santa's Workshop Memories and More Card Pack. Now, I'm pretty sure I showed this to you guys when I got my big um, order in of all the holiday catalog stuff, but let me see if I can get some of these out here. 
These are the cutest, cutest, cutest thing ever. And they are back in stock. So I didn't have time to come up with anything with these. I was waiting for them to be back in stock because they've been on back order. They were super, super popular. They are back in stock, and I will probably be doing some stuff with these this week because <laughs> why wouldn't you? They're so stinking cute. Um, so watch for that. What else? I have my 12 weeks of Christmas starting here shortly, and I know that I'm running behind on that. I'll probably be doubling up and giving you two weeks at a time until I get caught up. That happens to me every year because it's October, and it shouldn't be 12 weeks of Christmas yet, right? So um, I'll be doing that soon. That goes out to all my newsletter um, subscribers. And I also need to put something on my blog uh, form where people can sign up to get my newsletter. So before I start my 12 weeks of Christmas, watch for that. You're going to find my blog right here, www.astampabove.com. And if you go there in the right-hand column, there's a place for you to subscribe. So um, do that. And I'll also have a sign up for my newsletter on there so that everybody um, can get involved with that. I just made the coolest project ever for the 12 weeks of Christmas right before I came on live. And I'm giddy because it is so very cool. Um, so anyways, I'll be sharing that with you soon. And Chicken Wire is not on back order anymore, I don't think. I think it's available now. I just kind of scanned the back order list before, um, about an hour ago, so I knew what I was talking about. You know, you always want to kind of be knowledgeable about your products and wh what's happening with them. I know that um, the Santa's Workshop, this cutie patootie paper is coming in. On the 29th so that's just like a couple weeks away and I do believe it's still orderable so if you put in an order you will um, it'll just tell you it's back order do you still want to order it just say yes and then when it comes in they will um, they'll ship it to you so yeah we're gonna be using that tonight for um, a cute card that I made too and I know Karen Drain is in Florida. She messaged me earlier today and said she was in Florida and wanted to know what the time zone was. So I told her, no, we're, you're an hour behind. Um, so you'll have to look at 8 o'clock and I'll be on live because she's in the eastern time zone on vacation from Michigan, I believe. So I'm jealous. Yeah, it's hot there, she said, just like I like it. <laughs> okay. Um... I have winners from last week, and I got a card in the mail this week that I need to share, and it's so very funny because I just made a card using the stamp set on Friday, and then that day, I think it was, I opened up a card from Sharon Jones from Sulphur, Louisiana, and she used the same stamp set that I did, so I said, mm, great minds, hmm? what do you think? Oh, chicken wire is not available till the 29th. Okay, thank you, Janet. Thank you. That's a lot of information to process and try and remember. But I got this card in the mail from Sharon, and I thought this was so very sweet. And isn't that just pretty? That uses the winter woods that, oh, I love that stamp set. And speaking of that, oh, let me show you the inside, too, because it was really pretty. Look what she did to the inside. Isn't that just gorgeous? Very, very pretty card. So, thank you, Sharon. Um, let me put this back here. I always like to set my cards that I get right, right on my little dis. Whoops! Ouch! That was my knee. <laughs> on my on my shelf. Thank you. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Lori. Thank you guys for the share. Please remember to share my video. Just click on that share button, and um, I have just a few things to show you that I made this week. Here's the card I was talking about that I put in my Friday video. Whoops! I'm backwards here. Hang on. My cording moved around. Oh. Well, for Pete's sakes. There we go. Pretty close. <laughs> Isn't that pretty? Oh, if you didn't catch my video on Friday, you can find it on my blog, astampabub.com. Beautiful, simple, and easy. Absolutely love this. And then on the inside, this is what I did. I stamped those trees in black on the front and then in smoky slate, I think, um, for the inside. I don't remember what color I used, but it's on the video. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that funny that I can't remember? People will email me and say, remember that card that you made? And I'm like, no. <laughs> I'm 
most of the time I don't. It's terrible. Okay, um, then I think you guys will recall this card. This was on um, Thursday. I did the One Stamp at a Time blog hop and made this really cool background. I did that with spritzers and the dye. It's really neat. So that's on my blog also. And then I also made this cute little takeout box. This is a dye set that we have that makes these cute little like Chinese takeout boxes that are perfect for treats. You could fit earrings in here, any type of little stuff. But um, did the same thing to the background on this one. And then I have one more card that I made. I used the um, Alpine Adventure stamp set. These are the snowshoes dies and also the um wood textures designer series paper yeah kathy too many to remember exactly hi brooke hi bernie so that's another card that i made this week let me put these back i have some swap cards to show you guys so i had a team meeting last week on wednesday and i can't even tell you how much i love my team meetings and my team so um, anybody that's local that comes to the team, I always ask if anybody would like to volunteer to demonstrate. And um, I, I always have volunteers, which is fantastic. That's where I got the idea for this background is from Wednesday night, one of my gals demonstrated that technique and I'm like, oh my gosh, that is perfect for what I need to make tomorrow. So that was really cool. But um, at our team meeting, we also have a big card swap, and that's available to people who are local and people who um, are long distance because they can mail them in and I mail them back to them. Now, Mary's asking, where am I from? I'm in Menasha, Wisconsin, which is northeastern Wisconsin, kind of on the east side of the state of Wisconsin. So, um, yeah, Mickey, I wish you were local too. <laughs> Believe me. But um, <clears throat> if... If my team members can't um, come to the meeting because it's too far or they just can't get away from home that evening, uh, I broadcast my team meeting just like I'm doing here. We do a Facebook Live from the team meeting so that everybody can participate. And then those team members that are watching live while we have the meeting, I have somebody recording who is popping in and they get their name put in for all the door prizes that I do drawings. And I give away a bunch of stuff at my, my meetings every month. So super fun. But the reason why I'm telling you all this is because we had a card swap. And I wanted to show you the cards that we received in our team card swap. So super, super pretty. Like everybody has done just a phenomenal job. I have such a talented group of demonstrators. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, Suzette's on my team. She says, I love that the team meetings are live. And she said it was really fun last week. So thanks, Suzette. And then look at this. This is that tag set. I just ordered this bundle. I am super excited about it. It's got all these different little elements. And um, Carrie popped some of them up to give it extra interest. Super, super cute. Look at this, winter woods again. Oh my gosh, isn't that beautiful? Gorgeous card by Lisa. Then we have Brenda's card. I love the plaid, whoops, plaid paper that she used in the background. Nice white layer in there that I can stamp anything on. Are you ready for this one? Hello, oh my goodness, isn't this delicious? I love that paper and that Joyous Noel uh, glimmer paper the deer is cut out of. Absolutely beautiful. And I can't remember whose card this is. There's no note on the back, but absolutely beautiful, right? That might have been Irene's. I'm not sure. And then we have Becky Falk. Look at this. That little truck with that tree in there and then this adorable fence. Super, super cute, right? Yes. So... Just wanted to share those with you. I love getting um, the swap cards. And I'm going to be actually making the one that I use for my swap because I always participate in my own swap. I'm actually going to be making that one for you tonight. And if you didn't see, there were a couple other cards. If you are on my team and you did not see your card 
in that pile of cards, that's because I'm keeping it for something special. So don't think that I didn't like it. I loved it and I'm probably going to be using it for a video coming up. So I don't like to like, you know, it, the element of surprise is half of it, right? So I wanna make sure that I kept that separate. Um, okay, prize winners today. We have, for commenting, I've got some of the um, Neutrals Candy Dots. And I've got a bunch of products that I've had for quite a while and I'm starting to get through all of them. So I just wanna let you guys know, these are retired, but oh my gosh, they're so wonderful. I want somebody to have them. Kathy Rowland of Accord New York, you are the winner for your comment last week. So thank you so much. That was wonderful. Yeah, Linda says, you also have food at the meetings. We do have food and it's usually delicious treats. Um, I think Sarah made this pumpkin dip for um, the cinnamon pita chips this last time. Oh, I couldn't stop eating it. All right, then my next winner on the um, chicken wire elements is Luann Lee from Nina, Wisconsin, and she won because she shared the video. So thank you so much, Luann, and I know you're going to love these, and you can't even get your hands on them yet till the 29th, so that's exciting. And then one more drawing. Actually, I have two, so hang tight. Um, the last drawing for our Facebook Live last week is this gorgeous stamp set called Perennial Birthday. And the winner of this for placing an order with me this last week is Cindy Young of De Pere, Wisconsin. So congratulations, ladies. Next, I have exciting news. I hit 10,000 subscribers on YouTube. I know, right? I was so excited. I've been pushing for that 10,000 number for a long time. And um, I hit 10,000 subscribers. I was super excited about it. And I decided I should have another giveaway to celebrate that, right? So I have Terry Wilson Calvary from Rosanna, Illinois. You are getting happy mail this week. This is a box of 20 handmade cards that I'm sending out to Terry. So um, thank you so much, you guys, for um, subscribing to my YouTube channel, for following me here on Facebook, for sharing my videos. That's super important. That really helps me out. And um, bless your hearts. Like, I appreciate each and every one of you. So thank you so much. Next, let's see. Um, oh, I know. I was going to tell you. I was almost in a car accident Wednesday night. We were on our way. We. I was on my way to my team meeting. There was a train coming. And I was in a long row of stopped traffic. And I was right by a cross street. So I was here and there was a cross street. And I left a gap there so that people could get through, right? And all of a sudden, this guy came up. And he like zoomed this way. And I know I'm kind of backwards, I think, on the screen. But um, he zoomed to make a left turn. And he just like screamed out there. And when he got right here, there were cars coming. And one smashed into him. And I just knew that he was going to fly right into me. So I just like ducked my head like this and covered my head. Because my window was down all the way. And I thought there's going to be flying glass everywhere. Thank goodness um, there was no flying glass, but his truck got smashed. And when I got out of my truck, he was only like three or four feet away from me to his door. That's how close the vehicle spun around and landed right next to me. Oh my gosh, I was just like, holy cow. And then both the people started yelling at each other, which was so ridiculous. He actually started yelling at the lady that he hit like it was her fault. And I looked at him because I jumped out of my truck to go, are you okay? But he didn't even acknowledge that I talked to him. And then they started yelling at each other. And I'm like, you know what? I'm done here. I got back in my truck. I sat there for like five seconds like, should I stay? Should I go? And I'm like, nope, I'm leaving. This could turn into road rage and I'm not going to be around for that. So I left. I did call the police department and tell them that I was right in front when that accident happened. If they needed to talk to anybody. Um, I was available, but they never called me. So anyways, it was crazy, right? Oh my gosh, so crazy. And then yesterday on my way to my mom's house, I had another very crazy incident where um, I was on the freeway 
clipping along, you know, 65, 70 miles an hour. I think I was probably going 70. And all of a sudden I see this semi and it's like, ooh, that semi doesn't look like he's going that fast. So I went into the left lane and I went to, um, I'm kind of passing the semi. He's going maybe 40 miles an hour on the freeway and I'm doing like 70. So I'm clipping up pretty fast on him. As soon as I got up to him, he moved right into my lane and I had to slam on the brakes. And I mean slam on the brakes. It was crazy. Everything in the car went flying forward and I'm driving my husband's Subaru because the heat quit in my truck. So I'm trying to get that fixed. <laughs> Um, tried to fix that and I wasn't very successful, but anyways, I'll, I'll deal with that tomorrow. I got a guy that should be able to fix it. So yeah, thanks you guys. Um, so two really crazy car incidents and I think I should just stay home for a couple days, <laughs> stay off the road, but I am going to get my hair cut on Tuesday. So I'm excited because, um, did you know that your paper snips can trim hair too? Because before I went live here, I was kind of trimming my bangs that were kind of getting in my eyes a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, so multi-purpose, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, I think that I had covered everything we need to cover. Um, what do I have going on this week? I don't know what's on my calendar. I've got a project that I have to get done for my newsletter stuff. I'll be getting that together. I think I have a blog hop coming up on Thursday and another one Friday night, I believe, maybe. So lots and lots of stuff to be done. And I'm going to like haul all this stuff up to my mom's house. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I told her, I said, I'm moving in. So just know that <laughs> it should be fun. And uh, don't forget, if you are new to Stampin' Up! or you're new to stamping and you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to send you the new catalog. So all you have to do is pop me an email at kelly at a stamp above.com. And Elaine, we do not have a workshop tomorrow night. Our group is meeting on the 22nd, so make sure you check your emails. Um, Elaine was just asking if we had Stamp Club tomorrow night, and we don't. Oh, thank you for telling me to plug my phone in, too. Um, and it's funny because another gal from that group had texted me and said she was at the emergency room with her with her father and wouldn't be able to come to stamp club that night. And I like went into a panic, like I don't have stamp club. Oh my gosh, what did I do? You know, like I gave him the wrong date, but I didn't. We're late this month because there's five weeks in October. So we do not meet until the 22nd. I am in Fond du Lac on the 23rd. I'm in Oshkosh the 29th and the 30th. I'm in Nina. So whew, thank you, Elaine. <laughs> I'm glad we can keep all that straight. Okay. Let me put my little list away. I think I got everything off of there. And I think I'm ready to turn my phone around. And uh, we can start stamping. Thanks, Lori. Thanks for the number count. I always like to know that because sometimes there's, especially once I turn my phone around, I don't see that. It doesn't tell, you know, I'm not looking at a screen unless I look over at my computer. So, um... Oh, Charlene's at Disney, you poor thing. Did you know you guys, um, Stampin' Up! demonstrators from all over the world are gonna be in Orlando, Florida in the beginning of November. And um, one of the things that Stampin' Up! does for certain titles, once you are a Silver Elite and above, you get to go to the manager's reception. And we're gonna have that at Epcot while we're down in Orlando. So I'm super excited about that. Yeah, Mary, I'm jealous too, right? Okay. Hang tight. I'm going to turn my phone around. If you get motion sickness, close your eyes. I'll let you know when um, it's time to open them, okay? So close your eyes right now. I'm going to flip you around. And I think I need to... Somebody said last week that the brightness was too bright on my card. So I'm going to turn off the light that's on the Facebook Lives. And I hope that helps. And now I'm going to turn the camera around. Oh, I did pretty good, didn't I? Okay, let me get you in here. Don't open your eyes yet. We're not quite ready. And I always like to make sure that I'm kind of straight. Oh, I need to turn the mirroring off too, you guys. So hang tight. Turn that off. Okay. Here we go. I'm going to move this. You guys can have this hostess code when you're placing your orders 
um, this week, you want to use this code. You put that in at the bottom when you're doing online orders, and that will get you some special perks with me. All right, you can open your eyes. We're ready to rock. I think I am going to start with, I have a couple Christmas cards to share with you tonight. But first, we're going to start with um, a card that isn't a Christmas card. This is, I'm going to be using the first Frost bundle of products. And I have to show you where I got my inspiration for this card, too. So just hang tight while I get everything out. Got some punches happening. And here comes our stamps. And we're going to be using some Wink of Stella. Here's the stamp set that I'm going to be using tonight. It's called First Frost. And if you guys recall, I have a um, First Frost online class. Hang on a second. I'm going to move the cord on my phone. So just hang tight. It's kind of stuck over here under some stuff. I wish there was a better way to deal with all the electrical things that you need because I've got like cords everywhere and you have to be careful when you come in my room so you don't trip and ugh, it's just annoying. And I'm going to take off my sweater because I'm getting kind of warm. Okay, I think we're ready. Yeah, sharing is caring, Denise. <laughs> Thank you. And Julie says it's snowing in central Wisconsin. Yeah, my mom got kind of an accumulation today. So here's our stamp set. Here are the framelits. And what I like to do with my framelits is I took and I stamped and die cut everything that goes with this whole bundle. And aren't they just beautiful? Then I took the stamp set and I stamped all the images so you can like see them in color because that's always better than black and white, right? Then we've got the designer series paper here, and this is that special, um, like pearlescent finish on this paper. It is just so, so beautiful. So, all of that is in the holiday mini catalog. I'm just going to put this stuff back in my little bin here and show you where I got my inspiration. Now, last week I showed you some swap cards, and this was one of the swap cards that I showed you. And somebody asked me if I could please show you guys how to make one of these. And I thought, ooh, that is a fabulous idea. So that's exactly what I did. And only I'm using the first frost bundle for this card. So let me show you what I did. Oh, I think I need my paper cutter in here first. So I'm going to bring in my stamp and trimmer. We have a little bit of scoring to do. How am I doing? Did I miss any questions? I don't know. I don't think I did. Hang on. I'm going to move my screen up a little bit here. Oh, I guess I'm really far behind on the questions. I hope that's how they're coming in. Okay. Wendy Sue is here from Rhinelander. Good for you. Um, okay. I have got a piece of four and a quarter by 11, and this is Tranquil Tide, and I'm going to score that at two and a half and six and three quarters. And when I did this, I needed it to be just a little tiny bit more than six and three quarters. So I don't, I didn't even put it up to the next little notch, but just a tiny bit more. And don't worry you guys, because all of these dimensions and the scoring, you know, what you need to score at, I will post that. As soon as we're done with Facebook Live tonight, whoops, hang on, my TV just, caught up with itself. As soon as we're done with Facebook Live tonight, um, I will post all of these dimensions on the video, okay? So that's something new that I started doing that I thought would be really helpful for everybody. All right, once you have your um, card scored, we're just gonna fold it, and we wanna get out your bone folder and burnish those edges good. Yeah, <laughs> did I ban Steve? Melanie says, I haven't seen Steve on here. Did you ban him? I did not ban him, but he's not feeling the best tonight. He's, um, I don't know, he's not been feeling real good. We need to maybe get him to a doctor or something. So that's probably why he's not on here, Melanie. But thanks for asking. I'll let him know. I'll let him know you were concerned. He'll like that. <laughs> okay, then um, I have an envelope here. And I have a scrap of Tranquil Tide. A piece of the frosted 
floral, this is specialty paper, and this is four by four. I have a piece of Whisper White that's four by four, and another scrap of white, and then I already cut out um, with the stitched shapes framelit a small circle. So here's what we're gonna do. We are going to take the two and a quarter inch circle punch and this, this fold that has the little flap here, we are going to put our circle punch in there and we're going to try our very best to center it on that score line. And you're gonna punch that out. Okay, so then this is what we have left over. Then we are going to take the scrap of Tranquil Tide and I'm using a two inch circle punch and I'm gonna punch out that circle. Now the one that we punched out from the top of the card, I'm just gonna to toss that. We don't need that one. But we do need this one. All right, next we're gonna take, and we're gonna do a little bit of stamping here. I'm gonna use my Tranquil Tide ink and this image with all the like really fun leaves on it and I'm gonna stamp this on that smaller panel. And I kind of stamped it like this, and then I brought it in and hoped that I got it close, and I did. Yay, Kelly! You, don't you love it when you're like winning? So I just stamped the image along the end, the bottom here. Then I'm going to bring this one in, and I'm going to use the congratulations. I love, love, love the fonts on these words. Oh, I did pretty good. <laughs> you never know how that's going to go. And I'm bringing in, this is like my favorite little sprig stamp. Isn't that just, it's just pretty, right? I love that. We're going to add this to our card right away because we're done messing around with it. I'm going to put that right on this panel. Okay. And then I'm going to fold this up and I'm going to bring this designer series paper in here. And I'm just going to leave a border on three, well, whoops, I got to get it the right way. This was supposed to be four by four, but I think it's more like four and an eighth by four. And I am going to leave a border on all three sides, but not at the top. I brought that all the way up to the top here. So, so far, this is what we have. Now I'm gonna take that two inch circle, I'm gonna add a little bit of glue here. You don't wanna put glue on the back of the circle because then it'll be sticking out and things will not be good. And we're going to put that right here. Now before it dries, I wanna make sure that everything looks like it's even. I've got kind of a little um, border here and then when I open it, I've got that same little border up here. So you wanna do that right away. What are you guys drinking tonight? I think it's time for a beverage. Oh, that was good. I have Pepsi. And earlier, I about 3 o'clock today, I just started, my eyes started burning, and my throat might be just a tiny bit swollen. I'm like, oh, am I getting sick? I know, this is me sick, right? <laughs> I know. I'm pretty good about being sick. But, um, so I had a hot chocolate, because why wouldn't you have a hot chocolate if you're not feeling good? <laughs> But now I've got some Pepsi. I've got a lot of work to do tonight, and uh, I don't I don't think I'll be going to bed anytime soon. So, a little Pepsi with a little caffeine in it. I'm going to adhere this stitched shapes framelit circle on this circle, and then I am going to I die cut the little sprig. Now this is from the framelits. And I die cut this little sprig, and I want to take my Wink of Stella. Now, if you order Wink of Stella, when you first get it, it's going to have a little black rim around here. Let me see if I have a new one in my... I do. Yay, me! Okay, so when you first order Wink of Stella, it's got this little black ring on it. And you're going to take the lid off. It doesn't screw off. Lots of people sit here and try to screw that off. It just pulls off. And you're going to unscrew it and take that black ring out of there and throw it away. That's only for shipping purposes. Okay. Then, every time you use your Wink of Stella, you want to kind of shake it a little bit. And if you need to squeeze some into the barrel, it says push and push. You're just going to push it. 
and you'll see that Winkostella come down here into this barrel. And I've got the clear Winkostella. I'm just going to add some sparklies to my little spriggy deal because why wouldn't you? <laughs> yeah, right? Like, that's a no-brainer. Put some sparkle on that puppy. All right, there we go. Now, I am going to do some stamping now. I want some roses for this card, and I love these images. You've got the big rose and the little rose. I'm bringing in my gray granite ink, and I am going to ink up the big rose in the gray granite, and then I'm going to come in with a dauber and go in the tranquil tide, and I'm just going to tap that around the outside edge of my image and then just a tiny bit in the middle. Then I'm gonna hop on it. You know like if you're cleaning your glasses, you take your glasses and you go, oh, you're gonna do that. Oh, that moistens your ink again and look at that deliciousness. Now, I wanted a flower that would match this paper so that's why I did the gray granite with the Tranquil Tide because you've got some of those colors in here, right? Okay, we're gonna do the same thing with the little one. And some more, we're gonna just tap some of that green around the edge and put a little bit in the middle. <sighs> Huff on it. <gasps> Another beautiful flower. I love this. This is just a fun technique. Okay, next. Uh, let me find my dimensionals. I've got baby dimensionals and mama dimensionals. <laughs> oh, we need to die cut. Sorry, I forgot about that part. And you know why I forgot, right? Yeah, I'll show you in a minute. So we have little flower and big flower. We actually have two little flowers. Stampin' Up! has started doing that when you have some um, little images. They are doing two of them so that you can cut out two at a time instead of only being able to run that through one time, right? Ugh, that's hateful. Okay, so we've got this one. It's going to go right on here, and these line up just perfectly. And then we've got this one that lines up just like this. Run that through the big shot, so hang tight. Let me put that away so I don't lose it. Let me get my little cup out that Linda sent me. Yes. Run that through the big shot and through the magic of TV. Yep, just like magic, I already did it. So this is a little um, mechanics cup. You can get these at Harbor Freight and they're magnetic so that you can put all your little metal things in here so you don't lose them while you're working, right? Because sometimes I just throw them on the table and they've actually gotten thrown in the garbage by accident and who wants to go back through the garbage? Nobody. Yeah, so that's what I do. I leave this little cup right on my table to catch my metal stuff that I don't want to lose. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, once we have this done, we're going to put some dimensionals on the back. And I've got my mama dimensionals and my baby dimensionals. And I'm just going to use a little one on this one. And we're going to take my new haircut and scissors. <laughs> yep. And we're going to trim apart this little spriggy thing. And I'm just going to, we don't want to lose any of these pieces. I'm just going to start gluing this in place. I'm just going to add a little dot of glue. And we're going to tuck this under the flowers. So I'm just going to kind of go like this. Now, I want to make sure that this is going to fit through that little window, right? And it's kind of sticking out there too far. So I'm going to pull it in a little bit. Now I got glue on my fingers, so that's great. <laughs> okay, that looks pretty good. I think it'll be okay there. Then we're going to come in with another little spriggy deal. And I'm going to kind of open up my flap here. Come on. There we go. And... I'm going to put that one eh, about right here. That's going to look cool. And I know you guys probably can't see this because, well, you're there and I'm here. 
But um, the wink of Stella that's on the little sprigs here just really makes the whole thing rather magical because they really, really are sparkling. I, I, wish, I wish that you could see that in the camera, but they really do make a difference. Like they're so, so pretty. And here comes my big rose and I'm just gonna add that right here. And then my little, I think these are roses. I don't know what kind of flowers they are, but I'm going with roses because I just think they're so pretty. And there we go. I do not know what the name of this fun fold is. Does anybody know what this is called? I know it has a name, but um, my memory is just shot. So I don't remember what it's called. I wanna give you guys a little tip too on these ink pads. So this is happening a lot at my stamping events. People are trying to close these ink pads before they have them pulled out all the way. Here's a prime example. So when you open them up or close them, you wanna make sure that you are extending them all the way to the end before you turn them because what they're doing is they are putting them down. Let me see. How did they do that? They're trying to pull this up. And uh, can you see what's happened to my ink pads here? They're like breaking them. So make sure that you're sliding these all the way. They're like a compact. You push it all the way in and pull it all the way when you close it. So I can see some problems happening there. But we'll get it figured out, right? Because, you know, things happen. That's just, that's just roll. You got to roll with all that stuff if you're going to be in this business. And guess what? Stampin' Up! makes new ink pads every single day. <laughs> that's what my mom always says about stuff. They make, they make new ones every day. Don't even worry about it. So it's kind of funny. And she, she says that about everything. They, meaning whoever is making whatever product, whether it's cars or stamps or ink. It's like they make new ones every day. So she's so cute. Okay, here we go. Envelope, just a little something pretty on the envelope. And here's our beautiful little card. Yay! All right, are you ready for the next one? Hi, Michelle Klein. Thanks for joining us. And we've got Linda from Manitoba, Canada. I did a little research on Canada after my complete admission of how illiterate I am about Canada. And so um, I read all the comments that came in from everybody saying that Manitoba, I believe, is above North Dakota, which I've been to several times. And then I know where British Columbia is because we've been there. And then you've got the other one over on the East Coast, and I can't remember the name of it, but if you said it, I would know. So I did a little bit of studying about my Canadian counterparts north. So thank you for... You know, thanks for not being mean. <laughs> thanks for not being mean about my illiteracy in the Canadian part of the country. Yeah. Okay. Let me get this stuff cleaned up. And I'm just going to set this off to the side. Put these away. And get out our next project. Did you like that little singy song thing that I just did? Yeah, I didn't either. <laughs> I always, uh, this is a funny thing that happened with my uncle one time. Um, I was at um, one of my uncle's houses for Christmas and it was so funny because um, I was just kind of singing to myself as I was doing something. I was singing some little Christmas carol, whatever it was. And uh, my uncle like looked at me very seriously. He's like, do you sing in the church choir? started laughing. I'm like, no, actually they pay me to stay out of the church choir. So, it's like, no, I'm not a good singer. I, I can admit to what I don't know. So yeah. All right, you guys, do you see some love coming out here? Holy cow. I've got just a really nice, easy card, but super, super pretty. All right. Dashing deer. I have barely touched this because I've been doing all the Halloween and the fall stuff, right? So now I can't, I think I'm going to, I'm going to start making stuff with this and I'm not going to be able to stop. Like it's going to be a complete obsession. It's like Doritos. You can't just eat one. You can't just make one card with this because it's so cool. And the stamp set is like, oh yeah, that's nice, right? But the framelits. 
holy cow, the framelits are amazing. And again, Stampin' Up! has four detailed little flowers. They've got three de um, solid little flowers. Oh, there's is there four? Well, then maybe there was four and I... Uh, I don't know. But anyways, you've got all these different flowers so that you can cut a whole bunch of them out at once. And then these little spriggy things and the deer and the running deer and the standing there with the fancy horns deer and the peaceful eating by the meadow deer. This is the bomb. Now, another thing that's the bomb is the Merry Christmas thinlets. I know these are backwards, but use your imagination. We've got Christmas Holidays, Merry, Happy, and two label framelits. Love, 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 right? So I'm using both of these and the stamp set. Whoops, we got things flying all over the place. Let me get out my layers here. I've got the Joyous Noel Specialty Designer Series paper, you guys. Oh, it's delicious. And we're going to use this design right here. So let's see, I've got four by five and a quarter on that. Um, I've got a piece of Whisper White that's for the inside. That's four by five and a quarter. Then I've got our Mary Merlot. I was like, I didn't really use this cardstock um, very much up until the last couple weeks. And it takes me a while to warm up to new colors most of the time. So it's just something that I'm like, eh, I don't know. And so I have to tell you that I'm really loving this color. At first I was like, eh, I don't know. But now I'm finding that I'm using it with everything. And of course it helps that it is um, in so many of our holiday mini catalog designer series papers too. So that's pretty cool. All right, so this was four and a quarter by... 11 and I scored it at five and a half and folded it over. Then we've got our Whisper White and our designer series paper for the front. And I can glue this down right away because we're not going to be doing anything else to that. Let me see if I can get some glue. Yep, my glue is getting kind of stopped up here. Do you guys see this? This is um, an upholstery pin. And I love it because it has a little handle on it. So I know when I see little tips like this, then I always like, I wonder how many upholstery pins are going to be sold tomorrow. <laughs> because I know if I found something that was a really good idea, I am like on my way to the store in the morning as soon as I can to get that thing. These are just upholstery pins and they come in a little package. And then of course there's a plastic um, film that even after you open your liquid glue is still on there and I just push that pin right down in there so I always have it with me. So there you go, there's your little tip. And I like the upholstery pins because they have the handle on them. Um, little stick pins are hard to hold on to and, oh, and oh, they hurt your finger, but this is a pretty, pretty nifty idea. All right, so enough about glue and pins. And um, I want you to post on underneath this video tomorrow after you've bought your upholstery pins. <laughs> I think that'll be a hoot because I do that. Like when I see something, I like have to have it now. Okay, so we're gluing that down. And then I forgot to get out my reversible ribbon. But don't worry because I have it right here in my drawer. So here's that beautiful, beautiful... Um, Mary Merlot and Copper Reversible Ribbon. And this is 5 eighths of an inch. You get 10 yards on a roll. This is the copper side. Let's put it down on here. This is the coppery side, and this is the not coppery side. But you can still see the edges are copper. Okay, we're going to use our handy dandy little bow maker, bow jig. If anybody would like to get their hands on this, Pop me an email. Um, I had some lady that was kept leaving me messages on YouTube. And what was her name? I wrote it down. Maggie Sapanera. She kept leaving. She keeps leaving me messages under YouTube saying that she wants this information. And why am I like ignoring her? Maggie, I am not ignoring you. I have answered every one of your requests. You must email me so that I have your email address to send to my friend whose husband makes these. So Maggie, send me your email address. My email address is kelly, 
at a stampabove.com. And if anybody would like to get their hands on this little jewel, you also can email me at that same email address. And don't message me on Facebook because I need your email address. <laughs> because that's the way I send it to my friend Denise. And if I don't have your email address, I have nothing to send Denise. So, and I'm sorry that it's taken so long for us to maybe get this straightened out, but I have answered every one of your requests on various videos that you want this, but you have to email me and I've stated that very clearly each time. So we're going to get in touch with Maggie. I'm going to, we're going to, we're going to connect and she's going to get herself a bow jig. All right. So one of the things that I really like when I make these tiny little bows is cutting a very severe um, slanted edge on them because I just think it makes them look really fancy. Doesn't that look really fancy, you guys? I think it looks really fancy. Okay, I'm going to put this. Whoops, look at that. <laughs> That's my ink spoon. And we're going to take a mini glue dot here. Push that right in there. Stick this ribbon on there. And this goes along with this paper so beautifully because those little um, metallic dots are also copper. Oh, right? Okay, next for the inside. Now, I have my stamp here of the little reindeer and I've got my copper embossing powder. Through the magic of TV, I've already done this part. But what you would do is you would take your reindeer and you're going to stamp it right on your inside card layer. And then you're going to pour some powder on it. And this is our copper embossing powder. We want to stay with that whole theme. Mm. I was going to say, do I have a piece of paper here? Yes, I do. Ooh, look at how pretty that is. Okay, and then you're going to heat set it with your heat tool. And that's the part that I don't really like to do on camera because it's very loud. Um, it's not loud here, but it's very loud as it goes on the camera and <clears throat> rather obnoxious. So through the magic of TV, I've already done all that, okay? But I am gonna stamp the inside for you. And I brought out my handy dandy Stamparatus. We are going to use Mary Merlot ink. I've already set this up, and I have people who ask me, how do you set it up, Kelly? This is what I do. I cut a piece of scrap paper the same size as the layer that I'm gonna stamp it on, and I put that in my Stamparatus, and I ink this up, and I stamp it. And if it's not how I want it, if it's crooked, I adjust it a little bit, and then I turn over that scrap, and I ink it up, and I stamp it again. And I just keep making those adjustments until I have it perfect. And once I have it perfect, then I can make like 20 cards in a jiffy because it's all right there. I also have people asking me, why don't I use my magnets? Like, I'm not going to use a magnet here. It's a step that I don't need at this point because what difference does it make if I'm going to hold that down with a magnet? Where's it going to go? <laughs> I'm only going to stamp on it once. If I were to stamp on it twice, then I would use my magnet to hold it in place so that I don't have to mess around with it. I'm going to perfect every time, you guys. Now, your Stamparatus comes with two plates. We also have accessories now. You can get more plates, so you can also take these out. And you can put rubber on this side and you could maybe have another little image over here and stamp with that and you can have rubber on both of these, uh, this plate. But now you can take plates out and bring in a new plate because you can buy new plates. You can have more than two plates for this. The other cool accessories that we have is, hang on with this magnet. Oh my gosh, this is so tight. We have grid paper. You can get a whole pack of grid paper for your Stamparatus platform right now. Now, why is this important? Well, let me find another Stamparatus because, um, yeah, I happen to own three of them. <laughs> That's how much I love this product. Oh, and I don't see the black sheet that was in here. 
Um, let me get this magnet back on this one. That's one thing I found is like if you set this on something that's magnetic, that magnet's going to stay there. So when you're picking up your Stamparatus and you put it by something magnetic, make sure you've got your magnets on the back because I found one of mine over on my filing cabinet and didn't even realize it. But here's another plate. You just put the plates in and you can use them. You can turn them around. You can do some more stuff with them. This thing is just the coolest ever. I'm going to show you the um, black mat. Here's my Stamparatus drawer. Oh, and here's that paper too. The grid paper accessory that we have for this has inches on one side and centimeters on the other for our, um, is that imperial measurement? Is that what that's called? Or I don't know. Um, I'm trying to be fancy, but I'm not really good at it. <laughs> but anyways, you get a whole pack of this grid paper. And when you're using photopolymer stamps, the clear rubber ones, you want to put this in place because it's just a little extra cushion because they're thinner. And that's where this grid paper comes in. Now we have a grid that we can have on our black pad, just like what's on the platform here. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense because that's what it's for. Okay, I'm going to move this out of the way. Did I miss any questions? Because I haven't looked at my screen in a while. Linda loves Mary Merlot, and Carol loves the Joyous Noel Designer Series paper. Me too. And what else do we have here? Oh, my comments aren't even keeping up on my screen. I wonder what's up with all that. Anyways, okay, I'm going to keep going. So we've got this perfect every time. I am going to find my glue. Here it is. And add this. This is our inside. And I'm just carrying over that copper that's on the front with the ribbon and the designer series paper so far into the inside. I just thought that was a nice little element. And last but not least, we have some fancy things to add to the front. I took our copper foil paper and I die cut this bad boy. Yeah. No, not that bad boy. This bad boy, <laughs> I die cut the one that's jumping, and I have him right here. And isn't he just majestic? He's going to go on our card. And then the other thing I did is I took that Merry Framelit from the Merry Christmas Thinlets. I took this one, and I cut that out of Merry Merlot. And again, I wish I would have done it on the adhesive sheets because then I could just peel the back off and stick this on. But I'm just not that smart lately. So I need to get those adhesive sheets out and leave them lay right on my desktop. So I'm just going to add just a tiny little film of glue here. You don't want glue squeezing out all over the place. And since I am kind of a glue connoisseur, um, meaning that I use it constantly, I'm pretty good at this. I'm just gonna bring this down in here. I want you want to put your words on first because your deer can go pretty much every any place. Doesn't matter, you know, as long as you have room for it, but it can go on here just about anywhere. And then we're going to grab our mama dimensionals as opposed to those baby ones. And I'm going to give them a couple dimensionals here because, well, why wouldn't you? I know, is this pretty, you guys? Thank you, Sharon. I'm so glad to see you on here tonight. Sharon just said she's loving this. Bonnie says, love, love, love. Thank you guys so much. I so appreciate that. I wish I could hear your voices coming through. That's what I wish. This would be one heck of a fun party, wouldn't it? Okay, here we go. And here comes our deer. And I'm just going to have him like majestically jumping. <gasps> Look how easy this card was, you guys. It's all in the beautiful paper, the beautiful copper elements, the beautiful dyes. Love, love, love. And you saw how easy this was to make. This ribbon is the bomb. I love it. I just, I just ordered another roll. I have another roll coming because it's like I don't want to run out of this. So there we go. There's card number two for tonight. Okay. Thank you, Rhonda. Rhonda says, this is just a beautiful card. Thank you so much. That was my swap card for the team meeting. So everybody that participated in our card swap last Wednesday received one of those. And I love making stuff like that for our swaps. 
Okay, let me get some of this stuff put away here so we can move on to the next one. Here we go. Take a drink. Get a drink of your beverage. Oops, look, here's my stamparatus. Where did that thing go? Mm, this is a plate. What did I do with it? Oh, here it is. Hang on while I put my magnet away before I lose it. Oh, I see one's gone off the back. I'll have to find that. <laughs> I told you guys. Oh, watch those magnets because they like to stick to stuff. Get all of this out of the way. Copper embossing powder. Okay, next. What did I, oh, you're going to love this one. I'm like, what else do I have here for you guys? You are going to love, love, love this. <gasps> yep. I'm using the paper. This is actually the first card I think I've made with this particular bundle and paper. And again, not because I don't love it. I do love it. But because I was so busy working on fall and Halloween cards that I really haven't made that many Christmas. But it's time now, right? Yeah, exactly. So here we go with all of our supplies. Make sure I get everything out here. Where's my card stack? Oh, embossing folder. Ooh, I love these. I just started using the red rhinestone basic jewels, and they're really little, and they just make everything look adorable. Okay, what am I looking for? I don't know. I think I've got everything out of that bin that I need. Here comes our card stack layers. So, I need some of this stuff here. We have Whisper White Thick. This is our thick cardstock. This is um, for card bases. This is four and a quarter by 11, and I scored it at five and a half. We're just going to fold that in half. And give it a good burnish, okay? Then I've got, you know what, I didn't do my measurements on here. I've got an envelope that I don't want to forget to stamp up. I'm going to have to measure this for you because I forgot to do that with this card. I have two and a quarter by four and a half, and this is Poppy Parade. It's so funny that this designer series paper is actually flocked. It's got um, raised like velvet on it. Um, all over the place. The crowns and the stripes on the presents. This one isn't flocked. This one isn't, but the snowflakes on this snowman paper is flocked. The crowns again and the little snowflakes on this. And then also these stripes are like raised velvet. So it's super, super pretty. Um, but the, the thing that got me off track was the flocking. But um, this is looks like it's red and white, right? But it's actually Poppy Parade. And I guess Poppy Parade is a red, but I always felt like it was kind of a really bright orange, but I guess I'm wrong. So I really like it for Christmas cards. It's just so vibrant. Then I've got a piece of the Santa's Workshop Specialty Designer Series paper. And you can see, can you guys see that? The crowns and the little dots on here are all flocked too. Um, but this I believe is two by five and a half. Yep, two by five and a half. And I've got a scrap of white. And then I've also used the stitched shapes framelits that um, to cut out this oval. <laughs> I see Suzette says 275 women chatting at once. Oh my gosh. I know that'd be insane, wouldn't it? <laughs> that would be pretty crazy. Okay. I'm going to do a little bit of stamping first. Oh, you know what we're going to do first? We are going to emboss. So I don't usually do my embossing in front of you um, because, you know, we know how to emboss stuff. But I wanted to show you how I did this. So here comes my just regular Big Shot platform and one of my cutting plates. And then I'm going to take my thick Whisper White cardstock and an embossing folder that I just had right here that I don't know what it, here it is. <laughs> it's going to say that I don't know what I did with it. And we're going to put our card right into here. And I'm only going to put it in to the fold line. And the reason why I'm showing you this is because if you notice, there is no design at the very edge. The design does not go all the way up to that edge. So I've got my fold line 
right inside the edge here because I don't want the front of my card to just stop abruptly with no design, right? So I know some people um, mistakenly just throw that card in there and push it all the way in. And it's like, no, 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 that's not how this works. Make sure that you have your embossing folder all the way in the edges of your Big Shot because if you don't, it will mangle it quite severely. The Big Shot is a very powerful machine. It's like a big old man that does all the work. <laughs> Okay, get that out of the way. And let's look at this beautifulness. <gasps> this is a softly falling embossing folder. And isn't that just so, so pretty? I love this. All right, here we go. We're going to do a little bit of stamping now. Let me see what I did to my card because I made this last week. Okay, now I know what I'm doing. But I do need to bring in a stamp set for you. Um... Where is, oh, now I don't know where it is. Hmm. Maybe you guys can help me out with that one. What happened to that stamp set? Hang tight, take a drink. Um, there we go, I found it. Oh, labels to love. So I use this Merry Christmas out of the Labels to Love. This is a stamp set from our last, um, I believe, holiday mini catalog has just some great greetings in here. We've got Halloween, we've got a blank one, we've got Thanksgiving, ho, 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 and even Valentine's Day in here. That's what I did on the inside of my card is I used that Merry Christmas. And you could use any greeting on the inside. I just chose this one. So I'm going to just stamp this tag in here. Perfect, okay. Next, we are going to stamp on the scraps here and I've got the um, candy cane. Now what I noticed is when I ink up this candy cane, I want it to be, I think this way is what I want. It needs to be um, tilted. And I think I did it right. Because when you bring the punch in, you need to be able to get it all the way in there, right? So you wouldn't want to stamp your candy cane up and down because your punch isn't gonna go in there right. You guys know what I mean. Until you get used to a new punch, it's always you always usually stamp it wrong a time or two. So there we go. <gasps> Isn't it cute? I love the candy cane. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is I've got a. Um, hmm. Yeah, how did that work out? You guys, I need to grab a piece of Poppy Parade. So hang tight because I needed a scrap of that and I forgot, but it's right here. So don't worry. I can't believe I didn't put one of those in there. Here's a little scrap. Okay, we're gonna stamp that cute little bow. Oh, beautiful. And put that right in here because not only do you get a candy cane with this punch, and I don't know what this punch is called. Does anybody know what this is called? Is it the candy cane builder punch? I don't know what they call this one. Never thought about that. I just know I love it. Okay, we did a little stamping there and a little stamping here. Next, I am going to take the little fun snowflakes that are in this candy cane season stamp set and I'm gonna stamp them all over the Poppy Parade banner layer. And this just adds some really nice interest to this piece. So I'm using Poppy Parade ink with Poppy Parade cardstock. Then we're gonna bring in our hair cutting scissors again. <laughs> if you guys missed the beginning, um, I was saying how I was just trimming my hair before I went live with this, with these scissors, and I was just cutting some little wisps off. I'm getting my hair done on Tuesday. So I'm just going to cut right in the middle, and I'm sure my hairdresser will appreciate what I've butchered. <laughs> they always know, don't they? Those those hairdressers are, your, your hairstylists, they are so perceptive. They're like, who's been cutting your hair? <laughs> Me. Okay, next, card base. All right, I see I just got some red on it. Don't worry about it. It's not going to matter because we're going to cover it up. Here comes that, oh, and this is the other side of that cutie patootie little paper, right? Is these pretty um, hollies. Okay, so this is gonna go on first, and I'm gonna put this right over here. And I always cut my designer series paper just a little bit longer than what I need, and it, sometimes it, I think it might annoy my customers, but here's what annoys me, when it's too short, right? Because you can't fix too short. 
but you can fix too long quite easily, just like that. So I always cut it just a little bit longer. Okay, so we've got our glue on there. And then here comes our banner. This is a great card that you could do um, like tons of them for Christmas because it's pretty simple. Here comes our little banner. And remember I said that I cut out this oval. Yep, I did. I'm just going to also glue this right on here. And we're just gonna put that kind of right in the middle here. And then we're gonna bring in, where did our baby dimensionals go? Did you guys see that? Oh, here they are. Babies. We're gonna put some baby dimensionals on the back. Oh, look, look at that. That's a disaster waiting to happen, isn't it? Hang on. I have wipes right here. Who's getting nervous? Because I have this open. I know you guys are. You're going, Kelly, close the ink pad. Trying to save me from myself. Oh, I don't need the baby ones for this. I can use regular ones. So here we go. This is a big candy cane. I mean, you know, it's, it's pretty substantial. There we go. And then get that backing off there. Oh, and Karen says this is one of her favorite sweets in the Christmas section. I know it's really cute, isn't it? I agree. Okay, and then I'm going to use a baby one on here, a mini dimensional. Don't go on the Stampin' Up! website looking for baby dimensionals. They're called minis. I just am being funny or maybe annoying. <laughs> Probably both. <laughs> it happens. <laughs> okay, and then... Where did those little red dots go? <gasps> I love these. Like, I've had these for a while, and I, you know, I'm like, oh, yeah, i got to remember to use those. But once I started using them, I can't stop myself. They're so cute. And these are also, are these in the holiday catalog? I think they are. I don't know. But you just, they're called Red Rhinestone Basic Jewels. And if you go to put in an order, you just type that in the search, and you'll find them. They're super, super cute. All right. So hang on, Marcia. I think you're asking me a question, but I've got something in the way. Why does it keep saying, oh, that was a long time ago. Sorry. I don't know why my thing isn't keeping up, you guys. Where? Somebody just asked me where something. Um, I know it's early, but is SU going to have their November sale again? We don't know. We have not heard anything about that. That's a great question. Um... Marsha, we don't know yet. I haven't heard anything, but I, I expect that it'll be coming out pretty soon. So, okay. Is that it? I think that's it. Look at it. Isn't that cute? Super, super cute. Okay, I have some more cards to show you using this particular stamp. Look at this. <gasps> I know, right? This is Cherry Cobbler. This was made by um, fellow demonstrator Tamra, 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 I can't think of her last name. I know it too, but I can't think of it. This is the washi tape that's in the holiday mini catalog. And she just put the washi tape across there and the little sprigs from the first frost bundle. And uh, we've got a couple rhinestones here and then garden green and cherry cobbler. Isn't that cute? It's a super, super cute card. Okay, and then I have one more. I think I have just one more. Let me get this out of the plastic. This is made by my friend Ruth Bengal. I think Tamara Davis maybe is. No, it's not Tamara Davis. I don't know. Um, oh, yeah, and this needs to be trimmed off. See, it's a little bit longer. And wouldn't you rather have it just a little bit longer than too short? This is that stripe paper. And this is where I got the layout for this card. Pretty much the same thing. She used the corrugated embossing folder on her banner and the striped paper. And I chose the paper with the little um, grandma, like Mrs. Claus and the little elves. And I stamped on my banner. So that's really the only difference. But same layout, just different paper, different side of the paper. Aren't these cute? Okay, so let's just bring in, let me get this stuff cleaned up here. Oh, I made a mess out of that, didn't I? Yep, I did. Let me get this put away. I'm gonna clean this off too. Here, watch my hands turn red, because it always does. When you use red, you just get red everywhere, don't you? You guys have that problem? Oh, I need to stamp my envelope. Just wait. 
I've got an envelope here and I wanted to stamp it with this cute little stamp. Oh, isn't that adorable? Okay, and then where's my garden green? Hang on, I'm gonna bring out the garden green. I can find it here. Yep, here it comes. And this is also from just all from the same stamp set. <gasps> Isn't that cute? Love it. Okay, closing up the ink pads. There we go. So we had this super cute card and a cute little envelope to go with it. We've got the fun fold. I can't remember who asked me for this, but one of you guys asked me if I would make this from that Halloween card that um, I showed you last week. So I did that. And then we have the deer. Oh, so, so pretty, right? I love this. You know, it's really easy to make cards with this whole bundle because it's just all gorgeous all by itself. You don't hardly have to do anything to it. All right, you guys, if you asked me a question, here, I'll just bring this one back in here too because it's stinking adorable. If you asked me a question and I missed it, it's because this is really hard. <laughs> it's hard to stay on top of everybody's questions and also keep stamping and not, you know, be kind of just a cluster and crazy and weird. And So just know that it's kind of really tricky. I love answering your questions, but if I missed a question, now's the time to ask it. And I am going to find it on here because for some reason, my um, messages aren't rolling up. They're just sitting there and then all of a sudden I roll them and there's a million more comments. So that's really weird. Don't forget to share my video, please. Um, I always appreciate that. That really helps me out. Whether you're watching on Facebook or later on YouTube, you can click on that share button to share my video. Uh, also, don't forget to leave a comment if you came on after we talked about it because you will be entered in a drawing to um, win free product that I will be uh, giving away next week. Next week, Sunday, 7 p.m. Central Time. That'll be the 21st. And um, if you don't leave a comment, I don't know that you ever watched this. So you have to leave a comment, whether you just say, hi, this is, you know, this is Sue Smith from Chicago, Illinois or whatever. You have to leave a comment to get entered. Thank you guys for showing me the love. You're so sweet. Don't forget that um, if you're placing online orders, you want to use this host code. You'll get special perks from me. Also, you can put in your order at www.estampabum.com. And don't forget, if you do not have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to earn your business. I would be happy to send you our current catalogs. You just have to pop me an email. And my email address is kelly at estampabove.com. Any questions, you guys? Does anybody have any questions? I am looking through right now. Oh, thank you, Cheryl Wilt. She says, this is so inspiring. I, you are so sweet. Angela says she loves all the sweets. Denise said, thanks, Kelly. Have a good work week. And you know what? It's funny. When I read that, Angela, love all the sweets, I see the word sweets, meaning S-U-I-T-E-S. But when, you, when I say that out loud, it reminds me of candy. And I do have some candy here. I ate all the, um, what were they? The Mars ones because they're dark chocolate. So now I got Snickers minis left. And I think it's time for me to have some sweets. My sugar level is not very high right now. And it really should be. Let me have some more Pepsi. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Um, thank you guys so much, so much for joining me. Hi, Rose Williams from Dayton, Ohio. I am glad you're leaving a message. I'm glad you found me. Yeah, it's kind of tricky when you come on to my page. If I'm not live yet, you just have to keep clicking the title of my page and scrolling down to see when that live. I don't know if there's a better way that Facebook could do that. I know sometimes it'll notify you on your phone and say Kelly Atchison is live right now or a stamp above is live right now or whatever it says. But yeah, it can be kind of tricky, right? It's kind of hard to find that. So make sure you guys check my blog out. I've got some cool stuff coming out. I publish about three videos every week on YouTube. You don't want to miss those because there's a lot more stuff going on than what I do right here. Mm. I love my job. Okay, I think I am... Oh, there's some more. I don't know why my thing isn't scrolling. I'm going to stop whining about it now. I sound like a whiner. Um, oh, hi, Crystal from Australia. 
Yeah, Shar, you know what? My house is pretty fun. I'm always like this. This is me. This is real me. This isn't fake Kelly on a Sunday night. My glass is always half full, and if you can't laugh, you should stay home. <laughs> that is what I that is my true feeling about it. If you cannot laugh, you need to stay home because life is short and we need to laugh a lot. And I need to eat this chocolate, but I am not gonna chew it in your ear. So I'm going to say good night, you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in with me. Have a fabulous week. Stay warm if you're in the colder climates and stay cool if you're in the hotter climates. And thank you so much for joining me. Good night.